India is well known around the world for its culture and heritage. Its ancient scriptures and texts have been the way of life of its people for thousands of years. Today, the country is taking huge strides in various fields like arts and science, paving a way towards a progressive India. So friends, I am your host, Skyrim, and today in our episode of My India, we will take a look at some of the stories that very well showcase the unique culture and prosperity of our country stretching from Himalayas to Kanyakumari. India has a rich heritage of varied dance forms that serve as a reflection of its diverse cultural traditions. Each form represents the culture and ethos of a particular region or a group of people. One of the most notable examples is Dhauli Kalinga festival, which popularized the heritage of Kalinga in Odisha. After the pandemic, after the COVID, it's a refreshing moment. And being a Kathaka, it's always been happy to perform on stage because we artists are nothing beyond the stage. So it's very much refreshing. I'm very much thankful to the Odisha government, Arunaji, for giving us this wonderful opportunity. Organized by Department of Tourism in collaboration with Odisha Dance Academy and Art Vision, the festival started in 2003 and has been conceptualized by clubbing Dhali Mahotsav and Kalinga Mahotsav into one major celebration. Apart from classical dance, it highlights varied dance forms of the country and stands apart as one of the most prestigious and diverse festivals of Odisha. The dance and music is definitely used as a medium to popularize our heritage. And as if Odisha is calling them through dance and music and through Dhauli, through Konark, through Mukteshwar, through Rajarani, that come and see us and this is our identity. It's a unique platform in which you can see classical and then also you can see the martial forms. So this is a, a the unique feature of this festival. And um, I think uh, um, for the artist uh, it's beautiful because the background of the stupa and the open air and, the, the, and this place also has a lot of vibration and historical value and uh, history is there. So um, it's, it's really a unique experience to perform here. The 17th edition of Dhali Kalinga saw some of the most scintillating performances that made the audience turn on. One among them was Kathak dance presented by Upasana Centre for Dance Kolkata, led by Guru Asim Bandhu Bhattacharaji. They performed Pratibimb, where man finds his myriad identities reflected. The group captivated the viewers with their classic attire and graceful movements as they tapped their feet to the strokes of the accompanying musical instruments. Indeed a great pleasure to perform in the, this uh, munch, this uh, foot, at the foothills of Dholi, uh, organized by uh, Orissa, Sangeet, uh, Orissa Dance Academy and uh, tourism of uh, government, Orissa Tourism. And this is uh, really a great blessing for me and my team. The Orissa is the only state in India who always promote the classical dance form as well as the folk. So simultaneously both classicals and folks are very much uh, uh, developing in this state. So I am very much grateful to Orissa. Another spellbinding performance was Mayur Bhand Chow dance by Guru Sadashiv Pradhan. The troupe presented Kapat Katha, a tale of deceit, compilation of war episodes from the great epic Mahabharat. The item showed martial characters with different war strategies in ancient India. It is events like these that preserve, promote and popularize the heritage of Odisha both at national and international level and increase tourism in the region. 
It has been said that humanity is a virtue that stands above all religions and caste. Examples of citizens who have been doing noble deeds to promote this brotherhood and harmony among citizens could be found in every nook and corner of the nation. One such example was recently seen in Coimbatore city of Tamil Nadu, where a woman distributes food to the needy in discriminate of their caste or religion. Feeding a hungry person is nothing less than a virtue. Our elders often say that whenever someone comes to the door hungry or needy, he should not go empty-handed. Following the same principle is a Coimbatore-based woman, Safrina, who runs a biryani stall outside her house and offers free biryani to hungry people, irrespective of their caste or community. Though the cost of her biryani packet is Rs 20, but people who are really hungry and have no money can take it free of cost. You are in the middle of your help. You can help your food, you can help your food, you can help your food. You can help your food. No one can help you. You can help your food. 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 Safrina is a very specific about hygiene. She keeps her stall neat and clean and serves food wearing hand gloves. Just in front of her stall, she has kept a box where she gives several biryani packets. People who are hungry but can't pay can themselves take a packet from the box without having to beg anyone. Locals are effusive in their praises for Safrina for doing such a noble work. <laughs> People like Safrina are truly an inspiration for others to rise above all vices and help the needy and hungry people. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Telugu actress Malvika Sharma recently flagged off a car rally in Hyderabad city Telangana to draw youth in spreading awareness against cancer. Dubbed as Supercar Rally, the event featured luxury cars like Lamborghini and Ferrari and drew crowds that cheered from roadside throughout the length of the rally. I mean, uh, trying to cause awareness regarding the prevention and detection of cancer, which is really amazing. And uh, I feel youngsters right now, they really need to know what is happening and the way they are causing the awareness as in by doing a car rally. That is a really amazing idea because that way youngsters can connect to it. Cancer can generally be controlled in 75% of cases with early detection and change in lifestyle by involving physical activity. Thousands of people including foreign devotees throng the holy city of Prayagraj in Uttar Pradesh to cleanse their sins and pray for accomplishment of their goals during a one month long practice known as Kalpavas. Devotees were seen performing yoga, meditating and listening to spiritual talks as a part of the Kalpavas practice. There is a special significance to this periodic abstention when it is practiced near the Holy Ganga River during Kumbh Mela. Hamari puri jivan luxury wala yahan par US mein chhod diya aur hum yahan ek bar khana khate bahut jaise humble khana aur hum log tent mein sote aur dhyan kiya din mein to yahan par jaise bahut anand hai koi luxury nahi hai but sari cheez wo fulfilling hai yahan par Kalpavas is a practice of staying at the bank of holy river during the 11th month of the Hindu calendar mag the period is marked by patience and devotion that involves abstaining oneself from worldly pleasures. A person living in Kalpas should sleep on the floor, eat only one meal a day and worship the Almighty apart from doing other things. The ritual is attended by a huge number of priests and devotees 
known as Kalkwasi from all over the country and the world. The residents of Mumbai city recently participated in a walkathon to spread awareness against heart diseases among children. A pediatric hospital in the city organized the Little Hearts Walkathon 2021 as the inaugural event of the whole week dedicated to congenital heart defects awareness. आज वाड़िया हॉस्पिटल ने जो छोटा बच्चे का हार्ट प्रॉब्लम के लिए कुछ वो वीक चालू कर रहे हैं उसकी अभी से शुरुआत है। The five kilometer walkathon began from Nariman Point and culminated at Chopati in Mumbai city. It is estimated that more than 200,000 children are born every year with heart disease in India, which means every 9 out of 1,000 children born in the country suffer from congenital heart diseases. India is a land where Sufism has not only flourished in its true spirit, but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. A number of events are organized all over the country to perpetuate the teachings of Sufi saints and spread the message of unity and brotherhood. One such event was organized in Rajori district of Jammu and Kashmir to bring the people of different religions and faiths together. Have a look. India is home to a number of different religious and ethnic groups that are residing peacefully on this holy land. From celebrating various festivals together to organizing events promoting communal harmony, a number of examples highlighting the religious unity can be seen at every nook and corner of the country. A recent example was witnessed in the Rajori district of Jammu and Kashmir where a special prayer was organized for the peace, prosperity and brotherhood amongst all the people of the country. बड़ी शान और शौकत के साथ ये प्रोग्राम होता है जिसमें हजारों की तादाद में लोग शरीक होते हैं और अब की बार कोरोना वायरस की वजह से जरा प्रोग्राम पहले की तरह नहीं है तो इन प्रोग्रामों का मकसद ये है कि अल्लाह से दुआ की जाती है कि अल्लाह ताला इस वबा को खत्म करे पूरी दुनिया में अमन सुकून जो है वो कायम हो सके ऑर्गेनाइज्ड अंडर द नेम सूफी इजाम जश्न ए सदीक अकबर द प्रोग्राम सो मास पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ प्रीस एंड कॉमनर्स who came together to pray for the welfare of mankind. Prayers and summons were recited by priests to perpetuate the teachings of oneness and harmony as taught by great saints. A special free meal called Langar was also cooked and distributed to all citizens regardless of their caste and religions to promote brotherhood among them. देखिए हमारे इस प्रोग्राम में हमारा तो अमन का पैगाम है मोहब्बत का पैगाम है ये तो सूफी इज्म का प्रोग्राम है और ये इसका मकसद यही है कि जो आज से 1400 साल पहले हमारे प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम ने अमन भाईचारे का पैगाम दिया है वही हम लोग भी देते हैं लोगों को अमन और भाईचारे का पैगाम द मैसेज ऑफ पीस एंड ब्रदरहुड कम्स आउट लाउड थ्रू कलेक्टिव इनिशिएटिव्स लाइक दीस दैट हैव बीन एक्टिंग एज सिंबल्स ऑफ कम्युनल हार्मनी फॉर एजेस The women of Jammu and Kashmir are determined to rise above all stereotypes and show the world that they can excel in all the fields which were once dominated by men. Be it water sports, martial arts or bodybuilding, women are successfully making their mark in these fields, inspiring others as well. So today we take you to meet a young Kashmiri woman who made the entire nation proud by becoming the youngest pilot of the country. Having made her name in the list of India's first, Aisha Aziz from Jammu and Kashmir's Baramula is a beacon of empowerment and a source of inspiration for every woman in the country. In the year 2011, Aziz graduated in aviation from Bombay Flying Club and became the youngest student pilot to get a license at the age of 16. Later, in 2017, she received commercial pilot license. I studied in Mumbai and after that I started with 
I started with my uh, pilot course and after 10th is when I joined to become a pilot and that is when I received my student pilot's license. So after 10th, I started and that is how my journey began. Though Aziz has spent the most part of her life in Mumbai due to her father's business in the city, but she is highly connected to her Kashmiri roots. It was due to her frequent air travels to Jammu and Kashmir that inspired her to travel and made her interested in flying further, adding to her curiosity and obsession with airplanes and pilots. I was very fascinated by flying and to be at 40,000 feet is a different charm and you are flying constantly, you you get to meet so many different kind of people. So I think these things were the reasons why I wanted to become a pilot and is in the reasons I opted this field. Aisha's parents have always guided and supported her to achieve her dreams and are extremely proud of her. Every parent should be a choice to make their children who want to grow up and grow up with their dreams. They should be a choice to make their children a choice to make their children a choice. Step by step, whatever you want to do in your heart, we will be a choice to make their children और उनको जहाँ पहुँचना है हमें जो कुछ भी एस अ फंडामेंटल राइट्स ऑफ पेरेंट्स वी शुड फुलफिल टू अचीविंग देयर गोल एंड टारगेट। Besides becoming the youngest female pilot of the country, today the 25-year-old Aisha Aziz has incredible achievements to her name. In 2012, she undertook a two-month space training course at NASA. She has also undergone training to fly a MiG-29 jet at Russia's Sakol Air Base. In 2018, she was felicitated by Army Chief and President of India under the First Lady's title at Rashtrapati Bhavan. Presently, she is an honorary member of Indian Women Pilots Association and pilots Cessna 152 and Cessna 172 aircrafts. Greatly inspired by the American astronaut Sunita Williams, Aisha believes that being a pilot is quite challenging and you have to be mentally very strong to sustain in this field. You have to be mentally very, very strong in this field. I think what I have experienced now or learned now, if you're not mentally strong, it's going to be difficult for you to go ahead. So I think in this profession, the most important thing is that your mind is very stable because you're carrying 200 passengers behind you. So it's a great responsibility. Today, the Kashmiri women have been doing wonders in various fields and Aisha Aziz is one among them. These women are not just achieving great heights but are also inspiring others with their endeavours. Last but not the least, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings across Asia in our new edition, Asia in Focus. With tails wagging to a chorus of barks and yelps, more than two dozen dogs attached to wheels that support their disabled hind legs scramble along a rookie path as part of their daily exercise. Mostly victims of accidents, the 27 dogs were being nursed back to health at a shelter in Thailand's province of Shonburi. The shelter run by a foundation called The Man That Rescues Dogs was set up by a Swede who moved to Seanbury in 2002 and was so dismayed by the poor condition of strays that he started caring for them after work. It's almost like they have no idea that they have a disability. And once you put him in the wheelchair for the first time, it's, it's like there's no learning curve. They immediately know what to do. It, it's really amazing. And one thing that we love about our disabled dogs is 
Without us and without support, they would never walk again. And now they all have their own wheelchair and they have no idea, they just, they're so happy. The shelter spends more than $1,300 each day to care for more than 600 dogs and feed 350 more that live on the streets. Its volunteers also look after paralyzed and disabled dogs and provide physiotherapy sessions. A promotional activity designed to boost the epidemic-affected catering industry by recommending delicious food to people was held in Wan Chai of Hong Kong as the Spring Festival draws near. The activity sponsored by the Hong Kong Wan Chai District Association Limited invited 79 food businesses to attend. It also launched a food map which introduces local special food and information of relevant businesses. 但今天我來到這裡非常開心,因為我坐在灣仔區長大的,然後可以出席這個活動,我覺得非常有意義,我覺得可以盡自己一點點力量,然後幫大家宣傳,推動大家出來多一點早一點好吃的東西,最重要就